Do you own a Jeep Wrangler with oversized tires like 37s, 38s, even some 35s, depending upon the rear tire carrier, that basically your vision behind you is completely blocked, making your rear view mirror completely useless? Well, today we are going to talk about a product that I found from a company called Vantop. What is it? What does it do? And how does it benefit you? <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. You're going to want to stick around because I promise you're going to enjoy this. Well, hi, and welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners. Today, we are talking about your vision behind you. Now, whether you're driving a JK, a TJ, a new JL, either way, you know that the Wrangler carries its fifth tire or its spare on the back of the vehicle, which basically makes it nearly impossible to use your rear view mirror to see behind you at any given point. So how do we solve this problem? Well, I've seen some guys just simply delete the spare tire altogether because they want their rear vision. But is that really the safest way to go, especially if you end up with a flat tire on the side of the road? Let me show you what I did. Like I said, I found a product from a company called Vantop. Um, I installed it in the Jeep and I played with it a little bit. And I got to tell you, this is actually really cool. So come on, you need to check this out. All right, so let's pretend that you are my rearview mirror. I look over into the mirror, and what do I see? Well, basically, I can see the majority of my tire, both my antennas. That's pretty much it. Can you make out the houses and the vehicles and stuff that are behind me? Well, that's a very common problem, like we said, with the Jeep Wrangler. Having that oversized tire in the back makes it extremely difficult to see behind you. Now, granted, with the new JLs, they have a backup camera that is in place so that when you are backing up the vehicle, you can see clearly behind you. But what about just everyday driving down the road? Well, I'd like to know who's behind me, and sometimes your side mirrors don't always give you all the information. So check out the new rear view mirror assembly provided by Vantop, that allows me to pretty much see everything behind me. Now that is actually pretty cool. With the use of a full-time camera in the back, I now have a clear vision of what is behind me and pretty much from any angle. But that's not the coolest part. This is also part of a dash cam assembly. And so I can have the split view front and back or a view just in front of what I'm doing. I use it as a rear view mirror. It completely bypasses the spare tire. I mounted the camera in the center of the spare tire, as you can see here, so that it is a clear view of what is behind me. This is live, and it's actually quite a broad spectrum for what you get. Now, the other really cool part about this particular mirror is because it does work like a dash cam front and back. It is always recording the whole time the vehicle is on and the whole time I'm driving. So, heaven forbid, there happens to be an incident on the road. I could also capture that on film so that I have evidence as to whether or not it was my fault or the fault of the other drivers. Why is that important? Here's why that's important. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, okay? In talking to several state troopers, local police officers, and even some county sheriffs over the last few years, the details that I found out about a lifted or a modified vehicle are actually pretty interesting. Now, some of you may know this, but a lot of you may not know this. And that is that although we like to modify our vehicles, once you modify the vehicle, no matter what the situation is, it doesn't matter. If there is an accident involved, it's your fault. Why? Because you modified the vehicle. Now, according to these conversations that I've had with some of these guys, you could have your vehicle parked in your driveway 
and to sleep at night and get hit by a drunk driver, and they can still find a reason to make it your fault because you modified the vehicle. So having a full-time dash cam recording both front and rear could actually save your tail when it comes to a court hearing if in the event of an accident. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. I wanted to show you this because it solves two very major problems for me. For those that remember, we installed this molly rack up here not too, too long ago. I put my switch pod up here. I put my sunglasses up here. I even have a mount for my GoPro camera for some of the videos that I have shot. In the standard mirror, this blocks most of my vision anyway. So in addition to the spare tire blocking the vision, all of the stuff that I hung up in the center blocks my vision. But with this mirror, I can see clearly behind me. Now, I know that there is a concern about having a digital recording device in your vehicle constantly going all the time and what that could do to the eyes as an image while you're driving down the road. But what I have found is that this particular unit is actually very low impact. While driving down the road, it's just basically up there just like my mirror. And unless I actually glance up to look at it, I don't really know that it's there. The other really cool part is if it's dark outside, it has night vision built in, which automatically helps to illuminate everything behind you so that even in the dark, you can still see the trail of the road or anything that may be behind you. So even while moving, it is actually relatively low impact, like I mentioned, but it still keeps track of what's going on behind you. And there's no spare tire. There's no antennas. There's nothing in the way. How cool is that? And then you've got the added benefit that if you are anything like me, while you're off-road, you like to record everything that you're doing, well, you know, just in case you do something stupid, well, the good news is, is you have a front camera and a rear camera that is always going, no matter what, and it's always recording. So therefore, you can actually catch it if you do do something stupid. I didn't actually show the installation of this particular product, and I did that for two reasons. One, I wasn't exactly sure if this is something that I wanted to highlight. I wasn't sure if it was actually going to work out the way that I had hoped. And two, because as I've mentioned in a previous video, um, wiring is something that I take way too much pride in, and it takes way too long. And in fact, uh, the day that my wife and I wired this up, it was actually rainy and snowy and kind of gross. Um, and so we were kind of cold and, and a little bitter about doing it at that point anyway. Um, but I've had a chance to play with it. And now I can honestly say, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Now, when wired up correctly, it will actually turn on with the vehicle and turn off with the vehicle. So this way, there's no additional drain on any power supply while the vehicle is off. So I don't know. What do you guys think? This is a pretty creative solution to be able to still see behind you, utilize your rear view mirror, and not have to worry about that big, gigantic piece of rubber that's blocking your vision. Or at least I think so. Let me know what you think. Put it down in the comments down below the video because I'd be definitely curious what you guys think about this particular product. Like I said, it replaces the rear view mirror. And it just tucks right on. Super simple, super easy. So it's from a company called Van Top. There are other options that are out there, but having that use of your rear view mirror back, oh my goodness, after many years, I am so happy that I have this installed. So I look forward to your comments. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can put them down below, or you can shoot me an email at the link provided in the description below this video. In the meantime, folks, once again, my name is Josh. This is Jeeping for Beginners. Stay safe, happy Jeeping, and we will see you next time.